Hi everyone, I'm on my way to work. Um, you remember when I told you about one of the dreams that I had, you have to check out my archives, that there would be unusual weather anomalies everywhere. Um, I wasn't talking about just storms, I was also talking about the kind of lightning, that this kind of lightning would be different. It would be shown in different colors, and it would be the kind that kills people. Not that I'm wishing it, I'm just saying it's that dangerous. Um, just to let you know, it started happening all around the world. Okay, and I saw this dream. I want to say, I saw it last year. I saw it again three to four months ago. I've had multiple dreams about extreme weather patterns like this. Okay, I always want you to test the spirits. Um, test my spirit. Do not trust any man. Don't trust me. Don't trust anyone. You only trust Jesus Christ for everything. And you ask Jesus for guidance. You test the spirits. You test mine as well. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because um, the brother I told you that lives in Germany, my brother Tommy, I communicate with him frequently. And I told him about this dream. I told him about it last year. And I told him about it, like I said, a few months ago. And like I said, when I first started having this dream, it was last year. I, I even had dreams before that about different weather anomalies. Tornadoes that are going to look different. Tornadoes that, that, that uh, I saw in my dreams were made of fire and lightning. And some were made of just, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but thunder. Not, you know, you know, not your regular twisters. I mean, practically of thunder. So... You're going to see tornadoes that, I mean, they already started forming, but you're going to see them quite more frequently of tornadoes that are not normal in size and strength and frequency. I also had dreams about uh, more sharks would wash up. I had this dream last year and increased shark attacks, and that's you can Google that yourself, that's happening. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this, okay, it's not to sit here and say, to, I'm proving this, I'm proving that. Look, I'm telling you these things so you can look at the signs of the times that we're living in. Lots of animals when you are um, gonna leave their habitat to find different habitats, only because of the fact the planet is going through these changes. The planet is, a lot of the environmental, uh, areas, ecosystems, on the planet is quite disturbed, okay? Uh, animals can sense things before humans can sense it. And you all know, and, and NASA knows it too, except they're trying to hide it from you all, that Nibiru is in our, it's close. It's very close, and there's other two other planets that they discovered. What they discovered was a second sun. Nibiru revolves, evolves around that planet, goes around that planet, rotates around that planet. And uh, there's three planetary, two more planets besides Nibiru that also evolve around that same second sun. Now that's causing uh, pressure on the planet, on our planet. It's causing pressure on the, magne the magnetic field. It's causing a lot of pressure. That's why you're seeing these anomalies happen. These anomalies will continue. The Lord did prophesy that there was going to be earthquakes and uh, pestilence and there was going to be uh, a lot of calamities in diverse places. Okay, That's one of the biggest signs to look for that he's coming. There's other big signs, but that's one of the biggest ones as well. Look at all signs. No, don't try to decipher the signs yourself. Just watch. Just watch. And the Bible doesn't exactly say how these um, earthquakes or volcanic eruptions will come about. It just says that it will happen. Okay? Now, I'm not stating this as fact, okay? But I believe the majority of these volcanic eruptions and earthquakes are being caused by... Again, the second sun, Nibiru, and the other two planets pulling on our magnetic, our magnetic field. You know, the ozone layer that protects us from the sun's rays, that's a magnetic field around the earth, like a shield. It's pulling on that, okay? Now, I'm telling you these things because I already told you about a dream I had 
about how I saw uh, a sun. I mean, not a sun. I saw what looked like, I don't know, fiery clouds or something. But it was burning a lot of things up. I also had a dream that uh, I saw, and I told you all about this too, about these weird wildfires popping up in different places that they shouldn't, except they're going to be larger than usual. And they're going to be in, in the time that, a time of year that they shouldn't be happening. For example, California, Canada. Um, Canada, you all know, had a wildfire, a very large one. They don't normally get these wildfires. Not early this time of year, anyway. Neither does California, and California's getting them. So, it's just important that you watch for the, the times that we're living in. You watch the signs and you keep your eyes on the Father because um, it's, getting, it's getting worse. Just look around you and you can tell. I mean, I feel it. I see that it's different. I mean, you know, you know what Obama's doing? And I'm going to try to wrap this up and try to make this under a 10-minute video. Obama... Obama wants to make the month of June Gay Pride Month. I found this on a non... It's called, I think, the Revelation Guard, but it's a non-mainstream media news outlet. He wants to make um, June Gay Pride Month, and he wants everybody to celebrate even Christians. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So while Obama's too busy worrying about the mental illness, weird cancer, viral AIDS, LGB community, right? While he's busy worrying about that, Russia's busy continuously upgrading their military might. I had a dream um, about Russia. And I already explained that to you all, but this one was kind of different. It's the same scenario. Um, these planes. And I'm not saying I believe in aliens because aliens are demons. I'm going to make that clear right now. But the, type of the way that these planes look like was that they were fighter jets and they were attacking a city. And I could hear as the weapons were fired and... The impact they had on the ground. I mean, this this weapon vaporized everything. City blocks, miles and miles, even more. I saw people disintegrate instantly. Um, my spouse had a dream about... Uh, he saw people disintegrating instantly because it was a bright flash of a bright light. That was a weapon, a bomb. And I told them that, you know, it was a very advanced piece of weaponry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Russia is experimenting with advanced weaponry like that. They do have hypersonic missiles that you can attach nuclear warheads to. Now, they're trying to go beyond that, and they're trying to get, like, supersonic missiles. And they're on their way to it. I mean, they have it, they're very technically advanced, technologically, excuse me, advanced in their weaponry way more than the United States, and they have way more manpower, air power, sea power, you name it, and they're continuing to increase their military might, as is China and Iran, but we in the United States, not me personally or you, this government is too busy worrying about the gay community, you know, worrying about a, 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 a a disease, and I'm going to call them that, gays, okay, that are less than, right now, probably less than 5% of the population. I'm just going to say probably less than that. The worry about giving them rights, but forget the rights of the rest of the population, like you, me, your mom, your dad, whoever, okay? And that's where we're at. We're at like that. We're, we're, we're at those sign of the time. So it's important you watch for the coming of Christ, okay? Um, on my Will You Die for Jesus channel, I uploaded a video about what is the second coming of Christ. Or it was um, end times urgent regarding the coming of Christ. Okay, I'm going to try to leave a link below. 
And um, just keep looking out for God, okay? Don't play around with your walk. Just look out for Jesus Christ. I get emails from lots of believers. And they're having struggles. And I have struggles too. And I told you all what my struggles were. Are. I told you all I struggle with profanity. I told you all that. It's one of my biggest struggles. And I'm getting better at it. But it's one of my biggest struggles. You know? And I'm giving it to God. We all have our struggles. We're all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. You say you're not a sinner. The Lord says in the word, you do not have the Father, the truth of the Father in you. He literally calls you a liar. So we need to focus on giving our struggles to Jesus Christ. We need to focus on producing, you know, seasoned, aged, ripe, pleasing fruit to the Father, okay? I'm going to end it here. I'm sorry it went to 11 minutes. Stay well, stay blessed, and keep watching for Jesus because he's coming real soon.